Welcome to my channel today. <clears throat> today, we are going to discuss how to start a business as a teenager in Nigeria. If, in fact, I will start by congratulating you as a teenager thinking of starting a business now is a good one. But before we proceed, I would like to tell you or I would like to share with you the mistakes I had in my early stage as an entrepreneur, as a businessman. I never paid attention to mentorship. I never paid attention to modeling. It became a very big setback to me. I find it difficult to pay for a mentor. However, as time goes on, I was able to realize how to get a mentor free. Please, if you're watching me and you want to learn how to get a mentor free, go and get the book, The Power of Focus by Jack Canfield. The Power of Focus by Jack Canfield. Page 139 will teach you exactly how to get a mentor without paying a dime. Then the another mistake I made during my time was that I was busy looking for a magic wand, looking for that secret, looking for that thing that once I get it, I blow. No. If you are in that situation, please don't. Every business, life is life of principles. So what you, I want you to open your mind to in this video is to know that I'm going to reveal to you the principles you need to start a business as a teenager here in Nigeria. Having discussed my errors, let me come to the two business models you have today to go in as teenager. You have the online or the offline business model. In this particular video, I am going to discuss the offline business model. In the next video, I will discuss the online business model for teenager in Nigeria. Please, I advise you to subscribe, subscribe, comment, share any idea you have on the comment idea and uh, comment section there, so that we'll share it together. We'll put it together for others to learn. Now I'm talking of offline business model in Nigeria as a youth. If you have choose to make that, if you have choose to take uh, the offline business model as a rule, then I will tell you, be ready. All you have to see is what? Is success. In that case, you have chosen to go into business no matter the economic condition of this country, Nigeria. No matter the money you have, no matter the little cash you have, you have chosen to go into in business in Nigeria. So to start a business in Nigeria, I'm telling you, is not, in, in fact, not only in Nigeria, in any part of the world, is not a walk to the park. But with the principles, you will learn it. You understand what I'm saying. So to start, what do you start with? What business do you go into? It? What business do you want to start with? How do you start a business? The first thing to do is to look for idea to develop. To look for an idea, business idea to develop. Or to work on your passion. What is it that you know how to do very well? What is it that you can do seamlessly with that effort? Now you can build a business into it. Then the second one is what is it? What is the problem people are complaining about in your area, in your vicinity that you think you can put effort to bring solution to those people? That is how to start a business in Nigeria as a teenager. What is that your passion? You can monetize it. What is it that people... Now in Nigeria, we have power outage. Serious power outage. Hunger. 
the health sector is, is dying day by day. Do you know that you can devise a means for people to survive in this country using high level of reasoning? Because that is what business entails. It entails creating problems, sorry, creating solutions to problems. I've given you a clue. Businesses you can start with. No light. You can go into power generation. When I mean power generation, I'm not talking of going to build power stations. You can go into solar. Anything solar sells. Solar lamp, solar lantern, solar anything, it sells. Because we are solving people's problem. Health. We have the insurance companies. Now you can create a mini insurance outfit to solve health problems. So how to start is to look for idea, the right ideas to tap into. And that is what I'm telling you. Develop your own passion. Develop your own talent. Or look for problems, existing markets that there is problem. Then after you have done that, the next thing you do is to is to validate your idea, your passion or trend. Remember, I said, if you want to start a business, you must look into your passion, one, or niche, like health, food, all those areas that people must need every time. Or you follow the trend. The trend is what is it that is going on today? As I said, no power in the country. So like anything light is, is, is of profitable to whoever that venture into it. Now, after these three things, you validate it. You validate your idea. You make market research. Will this sell? How will I sell it? Now, after the market research, you set a time frame. This is where a lot of people get it wrong. You start business today and you want to make it tomorrow. No. Set a very long time frame. Five, ten years minimum. Set a long time frame. Now, after you set a long time frame, remember I said you should validate your idea. Any business you want to go into, you must validate it. You must look for if people are really going after it, if people really need this business, if people are really ready to buy, that's validation. Then the next thing is to do what? Set a long time frame. Why setting a long time frame? The next thing you do is ensure you study everything about the business. You ensure you study everything about the business. <laughs> Excuse me. Ensure you study everything about the business. After that, what else do you need to do? The next thing you need to do is to get a mentor. I've told you how to get a mentor in the beginning of this video. So get a mentor, a practicing mentor, someone who is working, someone who is into the business. Pay if possible. But if you use the model I told you in that book, you may not pay and you'll get the right mentor. Once you get the right mentor from a business, the mentor now becomes a model for you. It becomes a model for you. And after that, get a comprehensive business plan. Register your business name because as a beginner, you may not have money for L, um, LTD. That's limited. So go for business name. Ensure you register your business name. Once your business name is registered, have a business plan. The business plan is not for you as a beginner. It's in case you are looking for investors, in case you are looking for money. That is when they will ask for a business plan. But as a beginner, what you need is a business model. And the business model is you need someone who is doing the business to carry you along. That is why you see the Igbos are making it more than those that go to school because they are they bring the younger ones and they are being more dealt in the line of business then finally finally it's not going to be easy no matter how prepared you are no matter how ready you are you must face challenges in fact the business will crumble sometimes do not be emotionally attached to the business because if you are emotionally attached to the business you will not come up once you fall so 
Be diligent. Be strong. Be ready for the worst. When it happens, come up again. Remember, failure is not an opposite to success. Failure is a step or steps to success. So once you are failing, you know you are climbing the star step of success. However, failure, you can minimize the rate of failure by getting a model. Please, if you enjoyed my video, subscribe. Please share, comment, click the notification button so that others will learn from you. Thank you for watching.